Hey everyone, it's Amelia here. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Today's topic is how to ride a half halt. So give me a big thumbs up if you want to learn how to ride a half halt. This is such a hard topic and I've been procrastinating for a while about making this video. I think everyone expects that like suddenly they're gonna have this magic recipe that's always gonna work to half halt your horse and it really doesn't work that way. Every horse is different, every moment is different and so because of that the key to riding a good half halt is you have to have a lot of feel. And what I mean by feel is you need to feel what's going on underneath of you, how your horse is feeling, and then adjust your aids to that feel. So let's, uh, let's start out with the prerequisites before you even think about half halting. So before you even think about half halting, two things have to happen. One, your horse has to be in front of the leg. So I have clients that say, oh, well, I wanna work on half halts today. You can't work on a half halt unless your horse is going forward and in front of the leg. That's the first thing. The second thing is that your horse has to accept the contact. So the contact is basically all of your aids. So your seat, your leg, and your hands, they have to be accepting all of those three things. So those are the two prerequisites to your half halt. Now, when we think of the what you do to half halt your horse, it's basically your seat, your leg, and your hand. And when I think of a half halt, I think of it as you're not taking energy away and you're not necessarily increasing energy, you're just gathering the energy underneath of you. Because of this, you have to have the right balance of seat, leg, and hand. Some horses, you're gonna have to have more leg in your half halt. Um, some horses, you're gonna have to tighten more your seat and follow that through with little half halts in your rein aid. So it's really finding that balance of seat, leg, and hand to gather your horse's energy up underneath of you. So I'm going to show you some exercises that I do to work on half halts. And one of the best exercises that you can do to work on your half halts are transitions. So we're going to start off with just some simple walk, trot, walk transitions. So a half halt really what it does is it's, it gets your horse ready for what's coming next. So it's about gathering that energy underneath of you so that your horse is ready for what's coming next. So whether it's a transition, whether it's a flying change, whether it's a corner, um, whether it's a pirouette or a half pass, all of those things before you go into that movement, you need to ride a half halt. So if I'm going to trot my horse from the walk here, and this horse tends to be, he's pretty average, I would say. He's not super hot and he's not super lazy. For the walk trot, I don't need a big half halt because I don't have a lot of impulsion. So I just a little bit tighten my leg and then get him to trot off. And as I'm thinking of that idea of half halts, I'm thinking about how much leg, seat, and hand do I need? So for most horses, you need a little bit more leg than hand to get them going in front of your leg. Because remember I mentioned that you can't half halt your horse until they're in front of the leg. So now before my walk transition, I'm gonna kind of first gather the energy. So I don't want him to stop when he feels me half halt. I want to think about kind of just gathering him up underneath of me and then I make the transition. So that's an important thing that the half halt isn't necessarily what makes the transition happen. The half halt is what you do before the transition. So let me show you again, because sometimes like I might want to half halt and then go to a medium trot, or I might want to half halt and go to a canter. So a half halt is not necessarily a slowing down. So I'm going to gather him and then I'm gonna get him to walk. So now I'll show you for a trot canter. So this time, instead of walking, I'm gonna half halt and then canter. So first off, I need to get him more in front of my leg in the trot because there I felt like 
he's not really enough in front of my leg to where if I were to make a half halt, he'd probably just stop, which is not what I want. So now he's a little bit more in front of my leg. So I'm gonna half halt and then I'm gonna canter. So probably like in watching that, my half halts are relatively invisible. You don't see any big thing happen. And that's how it should be. It's more, that's what I mean by in order to ride a half halt, you have to really have a feel. So a half halt's like an, a, a half halt is like punctuation. It's like an apostrophe in the sentence where I'm kind of gathering him up and I'm telling him something new is coming. There's a new phrase coming, so you need to be ready to listen to that. So now when I'm in the canner, if I can ride some half halts in the canner, that can either energize him and bring him back. So I'm gonna energize this canner. I'm gonna get him again a little in front of my leg. Now I'm gonna ride a little bit of half halt and think about making the strides a little bit shorter, but energize them. And then I'm gonna go forward again. So once you're within a gate, you can ride half halts that kind of just energize your horse. So again, I'm going to bring him a little bit back, but keep the energy up so that within the gate, I can ride changes of speed without losing energy. So let me show you. So I half halted and then I made that transition to trot. So one of the most important things to consider is that a half halt doesn't mean diminishing of energy. If anything, on most lazy horses, a half halt, you have to actually increase the energy, increase the potential energy. So I'm gonna canter again. So I'm thinking of energizing him and then canter. And there you saw my half halt. I didn't quite have enough energy before I picked up the canter, which is why he, he kind of lifted up his head. So these transitions are a great exercise to practice working on your half halt. So I'm going to try it again. Now I'm going to think of energizing that trot and then canter. Good boy. That was better. So let me show you some, some common mistakes that people make when they half halt. So that's kind of my two cents on half halts. I know a lot of people have um, things that they like imagery that they use to help them with half halts. If you have any that you want to share with us, comment below. Um, I'd love to hear what your guys's take is on half halts. Uh, but again, it's something that's always changing, something that as you become a more sophisticated rider, your idea of a half halt is always evolving. So like a half halt in a training level test is much different than a half halt in a Grand Prix test. But it's basically this idea of a, a form of communication with your horse that gets them ready for what's coming next and that gathers the energy so that you can use it for whatever it is you wanna do. If it's a flying change, a half pass, a transition, whatever that might be. So I hope you guys like this video and leave me a comment, let me know if it helped. The end. Keep pushing you away while I want you to stay. I'm lazy, cold as eyes, but my heart still beats. When I say no, it's yes. I'm putting you to the test. Can you handle me? Do you have the key? Sorry that I've been playing games. Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so. I guess so, I guess so I am a queen, I need my king You better not to sin I think so, I think so I think so, I think so